Sean Dyche showed Burnley what they're missing as goals from Amadou Onana and Claret's old boy Michael Keane gave him a triumphant first return to Turf Moor. Having spent a decade with Burnley until his departure in 2022, Dyche didn't let sentiment stand in the way of an emphatic performance by Everton, who have now won four in a row. They moved seven points clear of the relegation places where Burnley are stuck and the Merseysiders would be top half without a 10-point deduction for financial breaches, still protested by their fans with songs and placards. Deitch received a warm welcome when he walked to the dugout with Burnley fans showing more class than their chairman Alan Case who declined to mention his former manager in his programme notes. The Everton lineup contained three former Turf Moor favourites James Turkovsky, Keenan Dwight McNeil. For Burnley, the most positive news was Lyle Foster being maimed among the substitutes and introduced at the interval. The South African forward last played in October to receive support for mental health issues. Everton attacked the end where their own supporters were gathered for the first half and it was Burnley forced to defend like a doughty Deitch team. McNeil could have opened the scoring after 10 minutes when he steered a header wide after being kicked out by Jack Harrison. Dara O'Shea then got an excellent block to deny James Garner after a nod down by Dominic Calvert-Lewin. The hosts couldn't survive the pressure for long. James Trafford produced a brilliant save from Calvert-Lewin but from the following corner, Everton scored. McNeil crossed to the far post where Onana easily lost his marker Josh Brownhill to head in from close range. It was the Belgian midfielder's second goal of the season, the other also came against Burnley, in the EFL Cup. Burnley's first serious venture into the opposition penalty area was thwarted when Abdoulaye Ducouré blocked from Jacob Brun Larsen. But Everton deservedly extended their lead after 26 minutes through an unlikely source. Keane hadn't started a Premier League since August and was only playing due to Jared Branthwaite's suspension. Pickford's free kick, Keane's shot was parried by Trafford but rebounded into his path via O'Shea. Second time around, the big defender rifled into the net for his first goal since April and he celebrated against his former team like he meant it. Burnley had one golden chance to pull a goal back before the interval when Vitinho reached the byline and flashed a low cross towards Ambuni at the far post. It would have been a tap-in without a wonderful sliding interception from Ben Godfrey, on his first Premier League start of the season. Vincent Kompany needed a feel-good moment so Foster's arrival was timely. Burnley did show more attacking impetus but not enough. Godfrey fouled Wilson owed over 30 yards from goal and Larson's free kick was charged down. Foster tried to show he was match-ready by shoving Nathan Patterson into the hoardings as they challenged. 